Meet the most colourful comedy act in present day sport, the Harlem Globetrotters, idolised by 20 million basketball fans in the USA. Purists say they make a mockery of the game. They clown, they juggle, they fool. But last year in Europe they played 73 games in nine different countries and lost only one. Now, matched against a team of white athletes, the Boston Whirlwinds, they show England a trick or two. Comedy doesn't start until the points pile up. It's two points for a goal, now watch number 40. It's a goal by Marquis Haynes, the team's Stanley Matthews, now back on the defence. Sparks fly off the audience at these lightning thrusts. And if this looks like a spot of buck passing, keep your eye on the ball and on Rookie Brown, who's six foot four and a 400 pounds a month star. They fall for his passes in a big way. Marcus Haynes again, and can he do a sea lion act? 12 points up, and the globe trotters are forcing the play. Ball bouncing is legitimate dribbling in this American version of the game, played by five men aside with seven in reserve. The all-white opponents are drawn from three pairs of twins, all from one family, the six brothers Clark. They're regular standbys to ensure a good game. And if they don't shake them up enough, how about this? Number 50 is Goose Tatum, a clown with the longest arms in the sport. With his seven foot overall reach, he rakes in 7,000 a year from a team which grossed a million last season. Yes, sir, basketball's on the up and up.